Alright, uh, this is a, a video for the program I'm writing in Perl. It's a UI for 6AD. Uh, I'm using the TK toolkit for Perl. Um, where to start? Where to start? Let's check out what's connected via Bluetooth. Um, you can use the HCI tool and then use the con argument. To see what's connected. We can do HCI. I need to remove this before I start the demonstration so bear with me um, DC for disconnect and disconnect the controller come on motherfucker okay nothing is connected alright I already have a 680 TK running it has a main tab uh, tab 2 tab 3 which I haven't made use for or named I have a remap a clear and a quit I have what the program does is it checks your system for known emulators, and if you have it installed, it'll put it right here at the bottom bottom right. I'm thinking of moving these buttons over here and then adding... What I'm working on right now is a function for, I guess, players. If you add a, if you add a controller, it'll add player 1, player 2, and then give you the options to disconnect or you know, um, give you battery stats and stuff. So I think I'm going to move these buttons and put them here and then add that player you know, function right there, and then have all the information right here, and like, uh, entry widgets, but this is a scrollable window, you can clear this, now what we want to do is, we want to click remap, oh, there's no controller fan on the USB bus, okay, so what that's telling us is that we need to connect our PlayStation 3 controller via USB wire, now let's click remap, okay, here's a prompt, please disconnect your controller, disconnect it, you know what, I'll, I'll reconnect it just to show you this little function. Um, okay, okay. As long as you have your controller connected, that will not uh, go away. So now it tells us to press the PS button to pair. I pressed it. Okay, let's see. And our PlayStation controller is, uh, is connected. And what I did too was I had... Um, Nintendo 64. I had a Nintendo 64 configuration file, um, a custom one that I wrote that will enable you to play, you know, whatever uh, whatever game you want. I guess Zelda is my favorite. I'll use that as an example. It'll let you play Zelda without touching any configuration files. You just plug the controller in, use the program, and everything's already configured for you, so there's no hassle. I mean, um, I did that for Sega Genesis and for Nintendo 64. Let's um let's actually run Moopin just to see. Um come on, what the fuck is wrong with my U button? Moopin sixty four plus let's go to documents ROMs Nintendo sixty four Legend of Zelda and let's check this out. Everything works. Let's click out of this real quick. And here's a side note. You need to con connect your controller before the emulator is ran or the emulator will not recognize the controller. I'm working on other emulators at the moment, but um, right now I have Sega and uh, Nintendo 64 already configured automatic configuration once you run the program it's uh... it's actually quit so it's not running um... okay let's click out of this too that's done, and that's it. That's my program.